welcome back to the channel. Uh, this one is the 60s uh, standard. Yes. So it's got some very different appointments to the 50s one. It has indeed. This one is a 50s standard. So um, differences mainly, we'll start at the top and work our way down. 50s standard over 60s, start with clues on tuning pegs rather than grovers. So obviously that's that's the biggest giveaway straight away when you look at one of these. If you try to work out which one's which, 60s ones have the Grovers, 50s have the Clusons. Um, the biggest thing which you can't feel is the neck profile. So 60s have much more of a flat back, faster mm -hmm. sort of neck on them, much sort of thinner, a lot easier sort of get around. In that regard, if you're in for something that's probably a bit quicker to play, 50s, it's all about in this part of your hand here. You've got so much more to work with. Grip hold of the neck a lot more, it's, it's, it's there. But that's a preference thing. Absolutely. Every, everyone's different when it comes to necks. You just prefer one or the other. And the other easy tip is you have either the vintage style um, knobs, uh, knob, and, uh, or this one that's on here, which is more of a, well, they've called reflectors, so they have this silver silver cap in the middle and the writing in there, which tells you which one it is. There are various, various small differences between the two. Sound-wise, it really comes down to the guitar. I've had 50s ones that sound more top-heavy than 60s. I've had 60s ones that sound more smoother. It's all completely down to the actual guitar itself um, but other than a, a kind of the obvious appointments of these and this they're very very similar how much are they brand new Harry? brand new at the minute i think um, depending on where you go because obviously various shops have got various agreements you're talking 2399 was the last time i checked on this price i think the vintage sunburst which is more of the tobacco burst which is more like uh, more like the one that's behind me to the left just back there um uh, is I think in some places at 2100 quid at the minute, 2099, I've seen a few of those about that. But the high, the nice high flamed vintage aged cherry that is, and that's a bourbon burst. 60s, you're talking 2223 in that region. Um, second hand prices, of course. This one is retailing here at 1799. That one is retailing at 1850. And then there's a whole array of different ones behind us, which we'll go through. But I think the first thing is, key features between what's mm. what to look for when if you're going out looking at 50s or 60s um, yeah i mean what i would add as well is the the body on these are totally solid aren't they, they so are, this yes. is this is like one of the you know the newest is it post 2019 model 2019 they changed the lineup in 2019 and they kind of went back to what they should have been doing for many years a lot of people perceive mm. um yeah they changed the run of, of standards to either 50s or 60s range of colors um, I think in the 60s standard, which you've got there, you can get the bourbon, the ice, uh, sorry, yeah, the ice tea burst, which is like this one that James is coming up nicely behind us. Is this uh, that one there, no, just to keep, keep going left, that one right there, that's an ice tea. This is beautiful. That's an ice tea. ice tea. It's quite a pale ice tea. You can get them a bit darker. There's another one that's a bit darker back there. Or an unburst, which is more like your greeny look. That's more of your plain, yeah, plain one. Jane, like the classic that's in the middle, that sort of look. What I would say after just picking up another standard 60s yeah. from the same era is that this one is just so much heavier than this yes, one. Yes, it is. Oh, that's actually half of, I think that's £10.4. Okay. And, no, sorry, £10.6, and that one over there is under 10 Just so you, under, or? Um, nine, eight, nine, seven, something like that. So you're talking nearly a pound difference between these two guitars. My, uh, my uh, youngest daughter was born at this weight. That weight. And my... Yeah. Uh, no, my oldest was this weight, my youngest was this, this weight. Yeah. yeah, much more in a condensed thing. But yeah, they, they, they're just, they're all different. They are so different. And then this 50s one here, I'll be fair, I'll have that. Oh, you Can you have a feel of that? Oh, wow. So that's really light, this yeah, one. It is, yeah, it is really light. This one's really light. So this one. they're all different. You know, the thing is, when you go into, go into a shop and you're looking for a Les Paul, play them all because they will all be different. They'll all be different with weights. The neck profiles will be different, even though all 50s are meant to be the same. Um, uh, I found that the, these, uh, if you play like here, we've got so many. If mm. you play a couple of the same model, they're always just slightly sculpted differently. Aren't they, they are massively different. Yeah, I'll pull that back there. Yes, they are. Oh. They're all completely different. So until you actually pick them up and play them, that's what it's about. Let's have a little um, play some clean kind of sounds on this Absolutely, one. Absolutely. Yeah. Nice, 
exactly the same on that. And just see if yeah, you know, yeah. the tonal differences between them. Yeah, that's... Um, yeah, 100%. Okay. I think, like you know, the search for a good Les Paul involves your own hands. It's a very like personal journey. They're so different. Um, definitely. They're so so different. Well, let's do a comparison between that and something else. Absolutely. So this is the sixties in my hands. So the, the other thing that you could get um, right now in the lineup would be a classic. Yes. Yeah. A lot of those adornments, doesn't it? Yeah. So classic. I'll grab a classic here. So this is a. This is a 2022 Les Paul Classic in Honey Burst. Mm. Now, the Classic was was launched to basically be a 60s reissue Les Paul when it was original. The original ones they did actually had, as that one has there, 1960, yeah. 1960 just, just engraved mm. in the pick guard. So I think it was in the early, early-ish 90s. I think the earliest one I've had was 93, 94. Um, and there was basically to be a 60s reissue, so you got thin neck like you get on a 60s standard, um, 1960 engraved here, um, and you've got exposed pickups. So this one's got the zebras on it, but the earlier ones just had the open humbuckers like what's on this one behind me here, this, this, this uh, cherry sunburst. And that one there, um, I can't remember what I was from. This is very much um, like the one I used to have back in the day. 2006, that is. Yeah, I had a 2006 there you one. Go. It's like me and an old friend. So it, it kind of is. Um, yeah, very different to what what Gibson were doing then. A lot of them were, a lot of them. Were, you could get a thinner neck, but it was always covered pickups and things like that. So the classic was basically launched to be a 60s reissue. So play something on the 60s standard in your hands, and then we're going to pass you this one after I've given a tune. All right. <laughs> Classics is they have the nine hole yes, do. weight relief, weight relief mm -hmm. which is something that Gibson. I mean, a lot of people go, Oh my god, they've drilled into it underneath the top. Gibson will be doing it probably when did they start doing that? 70s? Well, they started so they started doing that as far as I'm aware on some models, um, sort of late 80s. From my uh, in the 80s, someone will yeah. probably say that I'm completely wrong there, but they it became on everything after 2004. Right. So anything after two thousand and four, trads, traditionals, classics, standards, you name it, pretty much everything apart from customs and above and stuff that sort of stuff. But everything started having a little bit of weight relief to it. And this apparently is a, well, this here and the fifty standard that's there is where it's gone back to to not being weight relief. So give us some sounds on that, and then we'll talk about what gives classic over standard at the minute. Mm. 
No, I have one exactly the same as this. You do? Which you bought off of me? About, so, what, three weeks ago? <laughs> three three weeks ago. Yeah, so yeah. I came with enough money to buy... To, well, I'd have, I'd have found the money to buy what I needed. You I came needed. here for a 50s standard gold top, which was just on that wall there. Yeah. And you walked in, and you sat on that sofa, and you played it, and I stood over there, and I looked at you, and I went, you're not enjoying that. Yep. And you can just read it when people pick up a guitar and start playing it. And I went, you're not liking that. And you went, oh, well, it's, all, it's all right. It's kind of, you won't enjoy it. I said, play everything I've got, and... Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. You're right. I came you, away with the. I think you played. Oh yeah, nine, nine, ten or eleven of those balls are played. You played, and you walked in here to buy a fifty standard gold top. I added. I sold my amp. You did to buy a. You did literally. He he sent me a picture of this gold top. He knew I wanted a gold top, and uh, I went great. Oh, let's see how I get on. Put my amp up, sell, sold it. Came in thinking, yeah, yeah, time to buy one. Played it just didn't quite do no. what it needed to do. Mm. Played a six, a, a, a classic, which I thought, you know, because I, I know what the line is. Yeah, yeah. And I, th I thought, in my mind, because I tend, to, I, I play a lot of PRS, they're quite fat next to the ones I play. Mm. Um, and, and, you know, that's what I tend to seek out. I thought that's what I want out of a Les Paul. Mm. And it turned out I wanted a thin neck. Yeah, there you go. 60s, it you know. A different thing. What I would say about these, which is really cool, is you've got the push and pull pots. Mm. Now, I I like I play loads of different things. I'm quite um, more of a sort of like you know I play all kinds of session player really yeah. in that sense. Yeah. This has and, and I'm a big Peter Green fan. This has a pull pot at the back, yeah. and you can do the. <laughs> That's very like you know. Give it the middle. Give it the middle. It is. It's in the middle. Quacky, it's that sort of phase thing that it's then now if you play it with that with that push back in. It's got more things as well. Loads, yeah. So it's got, I call it the anchor. Yeah. So I do a lot of function gigs um, and I do a lot of deck gigs where I just get the call. Can you do the gig? When is it? Tomorrow. Let me think about it. Okay, I can do it. And they give me 30 songs or, you know, 20 odd, 30 songs. Learn them, go and rock up, do it. And what, what often happens is I'm playing a lot to some song and then the singer will look at me and go like that. And when you do this, yeah. You could be playing a rhythm part. On, you could have your volume knocked down. You could have your fingers. That's it. So I could have my... Comments up, everything. Pause the whole signal, yeah. the whole circuit. Straight to the bridge. Straight to the bridge. So I can do all that business. Yes, yeah, straight away. Like that. Without having to, we, without having to do this. Around. But the beauty of that is when you, if you want to go back to that sound that you just had, Rather than going oh, a little bit less, a little bit more, or a little bit less tone, or pull, you can leave the settings on the guitar exactly where you left them. So, say your volume's four, you know, sort of just break up, tones rolled off, and you're at the neck, you're at the, the neck pickup. You can just pull that straight to bridge, doing your doing your licks, doing your solos, knock it back in, and you're straight back to that setting you just had before on the guitar. It's a super versatile guitar in that way, you know. I know some people are like, it's a Les Paul, so it should just do the one thing. Yeah, there are them. I get that. It's thick though, this one's a bit thicker than the others. Yeah, lower mids. Yeah, lower mids.
exactly. Which is if you get if you want that. If you're using, I don't know, some of the older amps, Plexus for instance, that are a real one, mm. they're, they're quite quite heavy, top sounding. Something like that might just dial it back a bit. Depending on again, it's, it's, that's that's your rig. As you yeah, as you match it to other stuff that you got. I I really like this style. Feel it wise, it. feel wise, it's different to this. Yeah, it is, and it, it makes you gravitate to playing differently yeah, as well. Yeah, exactly. All of these do that. I've, I've played very differently on all of these guitars yeah. because they kind of inspire. Yeah. I quite like the, you know, the. Uh, That's another 60s. That's another 60s. Morgan Burr, so it's a slightly different colour to the one we just played there. Mostly. It's the tops, yeah. It's the tops, it's the woods that's used. It'd be pickups, obviously, these are burst bookers. But I don't know where, I can't quite, in the quality of the guitar, in the actual fit and feel and finish oh, and the necks and everything yeah. like that, I don't really, like, I don't see how it can be a lesser model. And a lot of people go, oh, classic, oh, and people don't understand the range, and that's fine because the range is very confusing when you go back through the years. But people have this perception that classics are, are like a studio. 
Oh, they're nowhere near like a studio. No, you're yeah. in the same league. It is a, it, you have got basically in your hands a class, a standard for 400 quid less. Yeah. Or 500 quid less. From new in a shop. They, they, they really are. They, they're almost on the same sort of keel. I think the difference is probably, you know, like, like we said earlier, you know, the, the plain top. Some people actually prefer plain tops. Well, I mean, you look at, you look you at this one from the top. I mean, look at that. That's look at the yeah. grain on that. Mm. Look at the wood that's been used on that. You know, it's got a really nice, it's got flame and it's got grain to it. Mm. And then I've, had, I've even had some classics, again, newer ones, which have got some real, real high flame to them. But yeah, it, it's not, not every one of them has. Thank you. 